Are you hoping to add a basset hound into your family but you're not sure how they'll react around children and other pets? Well, in this video, we're going to take a deeper look to help you make your decision. Welcome back to the Fenrir Basset Hound Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find your perfect breed and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. Let's jump right into today's video. Basset hounds are a sweet natured and generally well tempered canine. They recognize the need to be gentle around children and will play well with them. This relaxed nature means that they sometimes need a time out, especially from smaller children who will grab and pull at them. It's essential that you teach your children how to act around your basset hound. Children need to understand that a basset hound puppy may nibble at their hands and feet, but this will soon stop if you redirect the puppy's attention from any hands and feet to their chew toys. Another thing to bear in mind is that in the wild, dogs will play tug of war games to assert their dominance. It's not a good idea for children to play tug of war games with your basset hound, as tug of war games can also get your puppy overly excited, which can lead to bad behaviours and unwanted things such as biting, humping and scratching. Children should be taught to never approach any dog while they're eating, drinking or sleeping. If a child does approach them, your basset hound could become startled and may naturally mouth at whatever's approached them. A great way to help your basset hound bond with any children in the household is to let them help feed your basset hound. Let your children hold the lead whilst on walks and teach your children how to become good canine leaders. This ensures that your basset hound knows that everyone else in the family is in charge. When children are playing with your canine, they should keep in a calm and fun atmosphere. When your children get excited, your basset hound will too. Children should always be watched when they are around any dog, as children will often try to climb or sit on a dog's back. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted just to quickly let you know, if you're interested in watching more videos about me actually working with dogs, following the cases of the behavior modification programs and the different training programs that I implement, as well as me training and raising my own dogs, then we've got a dedicated channel to that exact thing. It's called Fenrir Canine Training. There's tons of videos on there and there's multiple new videos of me working with dogs and some of our Fenrir certified trainers working with dogs to give you incredible levels of value and to help you have perfect canine companions just like these guys here so there'll be a link in the description box below I can't wait to see you over on that channel the basset hound is known for its loving and tolerant behavior towards children the basset hound appears in the top 10 list for child-friendly dogs when they've been well socialized and trained in manners and obedience you should have a polite and well-rounded canine that will think of your children as their best friends. The Basset Hound also extends their good nature to other animals, especially when they've grown up alongside them. It's crucial that your Basset Hound is socialized to many different types of animals and animals that are a range of different ages and sizes. This ensures that your Basset Hound knows how to treat puppies and senior dogs and other animals. It's also essential that you introduce your Basset Hound to a variety of different animals during the first 16 weeks of their lives. Animals like birds, cats, squirrels, sheep, cows and any other animal you can find are easy to find and great for socialisation. This guarantees that your basset hound will be calm and relaxed when they next see them. If your canine has not grown up with other dogs or animals, you should introduce them to the new family pet outside of the home in a neutral environment. If you're planning on adding a new dog to your household, it's a good idea to take your basset hound with you when you select your new puppy. If you're introducing your new puppy to your basset hound on a lead, ensure you keep the lead slack so that no tension is felt through the lead as this can make your basset hound anxious and tense. You should watch both dogs' body language to try and anticipate both dogs' reactions. Some negative body languages to look out for include teeth being on show, heckles raised, a rigid tail that's pointing up or curled underneath, their undercarriage and ears that are up or flat to their head. The body language you want to see includes slight wagging of the tail or relaxed tail, a relaxed mouth and ears, open eyes and a relaxed stance. Overall, the Basset Hound is the perfect canine companion for just about anybody. They are excellent with both children and pets, they are calm and gentle around children of all ages 
And when properly socialised and trained, they will live harmoniously with any other pets or animals. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If so, please make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below, and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have two dedicated Basset Hound videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Basset Hound Show.